Welcome to St. Teresa of Calcutta Parish as we celebrate the Eucharist on the 13th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Celebrating with us today is Father Brandt and assisting him is Deacon Jim. Before we begin Mass, will you please pray with me the prayer for the success of our capital campaign. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Almighty Father, as we gather to celebrate the sacrifice of your Son and share the gifts of the Holy Eucharist, we are united as one Christian family. We pray that we can be your instruments on earth to imitate the faith, hope, and charity that Mother Teresa lived. As she gave sacrificially of herself, send us your spirit to guide us in stewardship that we may joyfully give of our hearts, prayers, and resources and grow in ministry for this and future generations of our parish. Father, we ask this in Jesus' name, amen. Please stand. standing face to face here in our hearts here in our lives our God is here here we become what we perceive here in this Eucharistic feast we are his body living as one our God is here and we cry Good evening. Just once again, a few reminders before we begin that the baskets for the collection, for Sunday collection and capital campaign, are located at the doors of the church. All parishioners are asked to receive communion in the hand, and if that's not possible, to please see me after Mass. And those who are receiving communion from the side sections are asked to form one line. Today we come together to celebrate the 13th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Today our Mass is being offered for Dominic Faust. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have Amen. mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with our Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
A reading from the second book of Kings. One day, Elijah came to Shunem, where there was a woman of influence who urged him to dine with her. Afterward, when he passed by, he used to stop there to dine. So she said to her husband, I know that Elijah is a holy man of God. Since he visits us often, let us arrange a little room on the roof and furnish it for him with a bed, table, chair, and lamp so that when he comes to us, he can stay there. Sometime later, Elijah arrived and stayed in the room overnight. Later, Elijah asked, can something be done for her? His servant, Gehazi, answered yes. She has no son, and her husband is getting on in years. Elijah said, call her. When the woman had been called and stood at the door, Elijah promised, this time next year, you will be fondling a baby son. The word of the Lord. of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said My kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Blessed the people who know the joyful shout. In the light of your countenance, O Lord, they walk. At your name they rejoice all the day. And through your justice they are exalted. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. You are the splendor of their strength And by your favor our horn is exalted For the Lord belongs our shield And to the Holy One of Israel our King Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. If then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ raised from the dead dies no more, 
death no longer has power over him. As to his death, he died to sin once and for all. As to his life, he lives for God. Consequently, you too must think of yourselves as dead to sin and living for God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his apostles, Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me, and whoever does not take up his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever receives you receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. Whoever receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward, and whoever receives a righteous man because he is a righteous man will receive a righteous man's reward. And whoever gives only a cup of cold water to one of these little ones to drink, because the little one is a disciple, amen, I say to you, he will surely not lose his reward. The Gospel of the Lord. In 1986, there was a popular movie entitled American Anthem. And the movie was about members of the American gymnastics team. And throughout the movie, a horrible accident takes place. And one of the gymnasts ends up losing one of his legs. That horrible experience affected the young man terribly, not only physically, but maybe more more importantly, emotionally. He would try to keep everybody out of his life. He would not leave his room, including his girlfriend. He wouldn't agree to see her. He would keep all the blinds down and he would pass his time in semi-darkness, just playing, playing quiet music. It was a horrible, depressing scene. In contrast to that, A New York businessman, Robert Bruce, tells a story that when he was walking down the streets of New York one day in the crowded streets, above the noise of the traffic, the honking of the horns and the talking people, he suddenly heard the sound of someone singing cheerfully and beautifully. It wasn't a boisterous kind of singing, but rather a soft, peaceful kind of singing, like someone singing to himself. When Bruce located the source of the sound, he couldn't believe his eyes. The sound was coming from a young man in a wheelchair who was pushing himself along, 
by the only useful limbs he had, his two arms. We think of the contrast of these two different young men. The young gymnast who had lost his leg, who leaves himself locked up in his room with the lights off, depressed and sullen and not wanting to interact with anyone. And another young man rolling down the streets of New York, singing cheerful songs at the top of his lungs without having any legs. These two scenes can illustrate in a moving way one of the things that Jesus talks about in the gospel today. Whoever does not take up his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Jesus certainly is that example of taking up the cross. Obviously, he went to the cross and to the cross, he went to his death, he went to the grave. And the reality was is that in that grave, he brought back that gift of life to resurrect that horrible situation of death and restore life to that situation. The young man willing himself through New York, singing cheerful songs, is an example of someone enduring a horrible, difficult challenge in life, but allowing his, his life to be able to overcome, to overcome those challenges and to be able to find a sense of hope. Sometimes we might think of situations like that in our lives where we're, we have difficult challenges that we have to face, either ones that are imposed upon us, ones that other people to give to us, ones that we're not really sure how we got there or why something happens to us. Viktor Frankl was an important and very respected psychotherapist of our time. And he wrote a book entitled Man's Search for Meaning. And in that search, and in that book, Man's Search for Meaning, he would recount the experiences that many of the prisoners had in Nazi concentration camps. And certainly they were first-hand experiences of horrible situations as to how things would happen in people's life and how they would have to endure that. It brings us back to that question, why can some people in today's world take up their cross to follow Jesus while others cannot? What gives the young man the courage to roll his wheelchair down the busy city street and sing, while the other young man cannot find the courage to roll up the blinds to allow the light to come into his room, the answer comes in Frankl's book, book when he says, it is faith. That faith gives him the opportunity to overcome the tragedies and the difficulties of life and to be able to restore that which was dead back to life. Just like in Jesus' resurrection, his example of taking that cross, going to death, but restoring it through the gift of resurrection. For the Christian, it is the faith of Jesus brought new life to the world and taking up his cross and carrying it so we can bring new life to the world by taking up our crosses and carrying them. It is faith in God's words to us in today's second reading that just as we were buried with Christ in baptism, so we will be raised to new life with him because of that same baptism. We listen to those words that are encouraging because we do have those times, those opportunities in our life from time to time when we have to carry a cross. Very often it's not a situation where we really want to, but we realize we have to, and so therefore we choose to do that. We ask the Lord for that faith to help us to endure that cross, to allow that cross to be resurrected back into life, to allow whatever those challenges might be, to restore us back to life and to be able to bring that bright promise into our lives. Eleanor Roosevelt, the wife of President Franklin Roosevelt, used to carry a verse in her purse with her all the time. Our Father, who has set a restlessness in our hearts and made us seekers after that which we can never fully find, keep us at task too hard for us so that we may be drawn to you for strength.
Please stand for a profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Confident in the abundance of the Father's love, we bring our prayers and petitions before him. For church leaders, may God look graciously upon them as they continue to strengthen and give courage to those entrusted to their pastoral cares. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those infected with or recovering from the coronavirus, may Jesus, the divine physician, offer them hope and provide healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are alienated from God and his church, may Christ's message of love and healing penetrate their hearts and reconcile them to him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the members of our RCIA program who will be welcomed into full communion in our church this week, that the Holy Spirit will continue to be a source of strength and guidance to them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, may they come to share in the fullness of Christ's glory and enjoy his favor forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we rejoice in your Son, Jesus Christ, and in the gift of your Holy Spirit. Hear the prayers we offer this day through Christ our Lord. Amen. Son of man has no place to rest. Every heart of man, every king a throne, but the word made flesh, no earthly home. Your burden's light and your yoke is easy. Your name is love. Your grace is free My heart was locked But you had the key Make your home in me Make your home in me Lord, you come to me in your homelessness burning in your eyes such a great distress who will heal your wounds who will make your bed i will comfort you i will share my bread your burdens light and your yoke is easy your name is love and your grace is free my heart was locked but you had the key make your home in me make your home Where there is 
love, there is no fear. So make your home and residence here. I'm so alive when you are near. So make your home. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of us. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your, mis of your mysteries, grant that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his paschal mystery, he accomplished a marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of your own possession to proclaim everywhere your mighty works. For you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with all the angels and archangels, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord Hosanna in the highest You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on this journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst, when we are gathered by his love and when is once for his disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. He gave you thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led to his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which you show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis our Pope and Nelson our Bishop, with the, all the bishops, priests, and deacons, and the entire people you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters. Inspire in us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at his command, 
And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection, give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, with St. Teresa of Calcutta and all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
bless all those invited to the supper of the Lamb. Let us come as brothers and sisters to receive the hope of Christ the Lord. Blessed are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. Let us come as humble and homeless to receive the love of Christ the Lord. Blessed are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. Let us come as wanting and waiting to receive the light of Christ the Lord. Blessed are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. Let us come as burdened and broken to receive the peace of Christ the Lord. Blessed are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. Blessed are those invited to the supper of the Let us pray. O Lord, may this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Our parish RCIA class will receive their sacraments of initiation this Tuesday evening, June 30th at 7 p.m. Mass. All are invited to this liturgy to support our new parishioners. On Tuesday, June 30th, we will not recite the Divine Mercy Chaplet before Mass. Nominations for Parish Council and Finance Council are available today online. Information is also available in the bulletin. The school, child care, prep, and parish offices will be closed on Friday, July 3rd, in honor of 4th of July weekend. The Knights of Columbus will be hosting a takeout spaghetti dinner on July 18th. More information will be available next weekend. And anyone who can assist with cleaning our pews after Mass this evening, you can pick up cleaning supplies in the bathroom hallway. And for those of you who are joining us from home, to continue to do so. I invite you also to, if you have the opportunity to attend the daily Mass when it's less crowded and you feel more comfortable and to be able to receive communion. Some of our parishioners have been doing that and found that it works for them. So just passing that along. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a great evening. strength of your word.
your disciples to bring all the world to the joy of your kingdom. Filled with the wine of compassion, send us out to serve all the world in your name.